you had two assists tonight, and you saw a lot of great things from the team all the way through. Uh, just talk about the performance. Uh, really happy for the win. It's not easy, as coach always says, it's not easy to win college games. Uh, happy for the assists that I could help the team, and, and just looking forward for next week to, to keep fighting and go for another three points. The difference between first half and second half for you guys, you, you really took advantage uh, of some of the narrow midfield that, uh, that they were playing and, and really took advantage of the wing play uh, where all three of your goals came through. What changed between that first half and second half for you specifically and, and, and just the midfield in general? I think we were we were more clear in, in identifying that the spaces were in the wide areas because in, in the in the week we, we noticed and watching video that that our outside backs were always the the free men and I think in the in the first half we were not a little bit uh, clear in trying to find those spaces but in the second half we did and that's where we could uh, exploit the wide areas find some good crosses and, and some good finishing too. Speak, just in terms of pressing from this team, you know they, they, you knew coming in that they were going to be pressing high and through the first half it, it you know they were causing you to make some errors and then second half uh, things change you were able to play out of the, the press a little bit more easily and a bit more confidently um, and then you were able to press yourselves was that something that you kind of worked on in, in training uh, in terms of just pressing the back line a little bit did you see something that maybe you thought that you could take advantage of actually we, we fixed the press in the halftime because in, in, in the in the first half we were not doing like our, our two our two strikers were a little bit too wide so it, the coach the coach said that in halftime we, we in second half we had like to be more narrow and that was kind of, kind of, it was gonna help us because they were not able to find their six so easily, and so he could turn, he could find some, some good balls. So I think that that helped us a lot in our press, and and obviously give us the confidence to step onto them and, and to put some pressure on the center backs and the six. After last week's loss, what was the mindset, the mentality of this team in practice leading up to tonight's game? I mean, it was a, it was, it was a great week because I think. Uh, we, we were able to, to keep trust in our process. Uh, obviously, we're a team that we want to win, but we're never going to betray who we are and how we play. And and we know that all, the result is always an outcome of how we train, how we do little things, how we do our preparation. And and even though we, it's not, it was not the result we wanted last week, we stay loyal to who we are, we stay loyal to our process. And obviously, that's something that, that's going to give us the result tonight, and we're happy for that. Being a number six team in the country is, is certainly no small thing, especially after the, the, the loss against Memphis. What does this do to the team, to the team's confidence going forward this season? It's it's massive. It's gonna it's gonna make the confidence go high. We have a huge game next week. Uh, we knew it that uh, they were number six in the country, and it was obviously a great a great opportunity to to redeem ourselves from last week. And 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 we're happy that we got the three points tonight. You know SMU. They're a challenge. Yeah. Uh, talk about them. What you expect from them next week? I mean, since I've been here, it's been always great games, uh, and 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 I'm I'm sure that next week is gonna be a really great game too. Uh, we won the three points. We're gonna go and prepare this week and and, and fight and do whatever we want and and we have in our power to to go and get the three points because we need them. We want to stay top of the table. Speaking of that SMU rivalry, one one player came over from SMU to this team, Nick Taylor. Can you talk about what he's brought to the team this season and now going into a matchup against his former team, just everything he's contributed? I mean, it's, uh, for sure it's going to be a, a, a special game for him. And, and Nick has been a really, first of all, a really great person. Uh, he's, he's, he's brought a lot of experience, a lot of uh, maturity to the team, and, and, and we're happy that he's here with us. And obviously, I mean, you saw him today. He scored a great goal. and, and and he's a great piece of this team as well as, as all the players in this team because we need everyone and, and all of us, we got to be ready for because it's a long season. We still have a, a few games to go and, and, and we work together. We're going to get uh, great results at the end. Good. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Matt. Thank you. Have a good night.